I was all alone. That's how the easy target game won. You had no one to, to back you up? Nope. Nobody. Me, Joe, quiet type, just an average dude, 15, an outcast, the kids at his school. They took his silence as him having an attitude, so the bullies there would whoop his ass every afternoon. Last Tuesday, he was just waiting on the lunch line, patiently minding his own business. When some guy came from behind to put him in a sleeper hole, while his boy punched him in the face and couldn't be controlled. They threw him to the ground, kicked him while he's down. A crowd formed around him laughing, calling him a clown. Now, he just laid there while teachers broke it up. Teary eyed, nose bleeding, eyes swollen shut his parents picked him up his mother caused the scene and joe went from picked on to being quarantined his father seemed ashamed he could tell by how his face looked kids started rumors and harassing him on facebook pain changed in his brain waves and became rage eight days later payback was all he maintained he had enough finally he snapped so he went to the drawer where his father kept his gat put it in his knapsack and took it into class with him looked at everybody who was there and started blasting him 12 dead laying there as joe fled to the lunch and put a bullet in his own head. From the inner lasting effects of childhood bullying. I literally didn't know why they were being so mean to me. And they would just say, well, you're fat. Me, Jane, slightly overweight and insecure. 16, good grades, classmates are immature. Concerned with fashion, boys, and who is rich and poor. They pointed her and laughed when she walked in the door. Last Monday, she was just getting dressed for gym class. Crew of girls called her fat, said she needed slim fast. She tried to ignore these hoes talking about her weight, but couldn't help the tears from running down her face. Feeling out of place, she ran out the locker room to avoid ridicule. Cutting class was opportune, it's a vicious cycle. Went from A's and B's, making mom proud to self medicating. Hanging with the wrong crowd, another helpless teen, lacking self-esteem, beaten down by mean girls like it's on the silver screen. She became a fiend for oxys and Percocet. Ran away from home, her mom's a nervous wreck. She started losing weight, eyes sunk into her face. Pills got too expensive, she began shooting H. Made a few mistakes, now she's way beyond the wrong crowd. An all-out thief, stole jewelry from her mom's house, walked out focused, headed to the pawn shop, got paid, went to cop, and this is where it all stops. People she had gone to cut a kilo of it wrong, found her dead on a couch with a needle in her arm.